In this video I'm going to show you how to create a new site collection with SharePoint Online. So to do that you're going to need to be an administrator with the rights to do that. When you log into the Office 365 admin portal um, you'll see a screen that looks very much like this. Now to get to the SharePoint administration area you'll need to go to admin in the top right, pull the menu down and then select the SharePoint option. This will then take you to the SharePoint Admin Center and please note that the SharePoint Admin Center is only available with the mid-size and the enterprise plans. It's not available as part of the small business plans. Now what we'll see here is a list of all our existing um, site collections. Now what we want to do is create a new private site collection, so an internal site collection. So we go up to the new button and select that you'll see that we can choose from a private site collection and a public site website at the moment the public website already exists I can only have one of those but I can have basically as many private site collections as I want so I select that that will then throw up a dialogue which allows me to then enter the information I want about my new site collection so I'm going to call this site collection tutorial and I now need to specify the URL. As you can see I have a number of drop down options here that I can select from the URL. Typically I only need to put in the last uh, the suffix of that so I'm going to make that match the name just to keep it easy. <clears throat> You'll see that I have the option here to select the language so I can choose a different default language and as I scroll down I'm next um, asked to select a template. So here I can choose from team site, blog, developer site. Under the enterprise tab if I select you'll see I've got a, a range of options. What is available here will depend on your SharePoint plan that you are currently subscribed to. Under publishing you'll see that I have two options there and finally custom allows you to select a template later and to potentially add in your own customization. But for this to keep it simple I'm going to select the collaboration tab, pull the option down here to select a time zone. So go down and find the appropriate uh, time zone. Go OK. Next thing I need to insert is the site collection administrator. So who is going to be the um, site collection administrator? This is the user who will have complete rights over the site um, at all times. So again, you can simply type their name in and then use Control K. You can use the checkbox here, or if I want, I can actually go through and select um, individual users from those in my tenant. But you can only have a single primary site collection administrator. You can add multiple secondary ones later, but initially there's only one primary. We now need to select a quota. The quota is the amount of space that this site will um, be allocated by default. This you can allocate up to the maximum amount of size space that you have available in your tenant. So in this case, to keep it simple, I'm just going to allocate one gig, so 1,000 megabytes. Next, you need to select the server resources. These are basically uh, components like processor load and other resources that the server requires to run a SharePoint site. The larger the resources, the more resources. Uh, the larger the resource number you make, um, the more custom code and things like that you can put into your SharePoint site. So if it's going to be a fairly standard site, um, normally you want 30, maybe to 50, but you can edit these at a later point if desired. So once I've filled in all that information, I simply hit OK. That will then allow Office 365 to go out and start creating that new site collection. So we'll see a message in the top right here indicating that it is being created and it may take up to 15 minutes. You'll notice in our list of sites that um, the site URL now appears um, which is what we selected but you'll notice there is a small a spinning um, icon here waiting for the site to finish completion. So this will take a few minutes so let me just pause the video while we wait. So after a few minutes we see that our SharePoint uh, new site collection has been created has the new button next to it. We can now um, select that site um, and we can go up the top and look at the properties, change the owners. So if you want to go in here and manage the administrators, this is where we can go in and add additional site collection administrators. So I can only have one primary, but I can have as many secondary ones as I want. So that's where you can go in and select that. 
but to actually browse to the website so if I select it um, it will give me the properties for the site what space it's using and its storage quota but if I then select the URL will then be taken to our new site collection so this will be the home team site the team site at the top of the tree for our new site collection so we can now start building our structure adding information and controlling the way we want to collaborate around this specific site so again difference here is is that this is now a unique site with its own unique URL that we can customize with the space and add-ins and things like that so at the end of the day that's why you want to create a unique site collection to maybe different from the others so it's really that simple and that easy to um, summarize you need to be a Office 365 administrator you go into the administration portal you then go to admin in the top right you select SharePoint and you end up at the SharePoint admin center as I am here and then simply go into new and create a new private site collection fill in the details give it a couple of minutes and it will be created for you so it's really quick and easy thank you very much for watching this video